Hello students, we will continue the question 1 in standard time subject mathematics exercise 1.4 chapter 1. Question 1 we are doing uh, till question number 1, 7. We have solved and we have seen whether they are uh, dominating decimal expansion or non dominating repeating decimal expansion. This type of conclusions we have given on the basis of the theorems. Now, remaining 3 also we will see here in which 8th number is the question 1 is 6 upon 15 the question is. So, in this type of question when we have 6 upon 15 some common factor between P and Q like 3 is common here 2, 3 is a 6 and 15 also 3 common is there. So, the common factor will be divided by that. So, here we do 3 2s are and 3 5s are. We can divide by the common factor. So, we will have the simplest form 2 upon 5 that is I have written. And now we will see the similar way in which we were doing till question 1 and 7 number. It is P upon Q form. Again, we have to focus on Q form. It is 5. 5 can be written as 2 is to 0 and 5 is to 1. 5 is 1 times there, so 5 is to 1. 2 is not here. If the prime factor is not are there, we can write in place of it something raised to 0, like here we need 2. So 2 is to 0, we can write. 2 is to 0 means you know in mass in any number, non negative for non zero number, raised to power 0 gives 1. So, this 5 into 1 we can consider and 1 means 2 raised to 0. 2 raised to 0 is 1 and 5 raised to 1 is 5. 5 is a 5 it means. So, you can write 2 raised to 0 and 5 raised to 1. Understand? Now, this can be written as 2 raised to 1, 5 raised to 1 x form we are finding here. Yes. So, and what is n equals to? n equals to 0 we are getting. And what is m equals to m equals to 1 we are So n and m both are non-negative integers we got. So by theorem 1.6, what we can write about 6 upon 15? That 6 upon 15, because it is in the form of 2 raised to n, 5 raised to n, will have a dominating decimal expansion. Right? Similar with 9 number in this question 1, 35 upon 15. Again, here we have some common factor between 35 and 50. Common factor is 5 here. 5. So, 5 7s are and 5 10s are. By that common factor, we have to divide it. So, what is the meaning the simple form 7 upon 10? We can consider this as an solution. P upon Q form it is. Q equals to 10. And 10 can be written in 5. Uh, prime factorization form is 2 raised to 1 and 5 raised to 1. So, it is in the form of 2 raised to n, 5 raised to n, we get where n equals to 1 and m equals to 1. 1 and 1, both non negative integers. So, again by theorem 1.6, this given question 35 upon 50, because it is in the form of 2 raised to n, 5 raised to n, where n m are in the non negative integers, we have a dominating decimal expansion according to theorem 1.6. For 10 also I have shown here, it is simple now, you can understand, factors are we have to do this way and now in rough form we have to show it and we have to write it. So, it will be easy to understand. Right. Now, 10 number, 77 upon 210. Once again, it can be, it, it is having the common factor between P and Q from both. You can understand, 7 by 7, it is the having the common factor, it is also in 7. So, by 7, we can divide both P and Q. So, you can understand 7 1s are 7 and 7 1s are 7. And 7 3s are 21 and this 0. So, 11 upon 30, the simplest form we get. But now, consider this 11 upon 30 as P upon Q form, where Q is 30 and 30 can be factorized this way to 15s are 3 5s are and 5 1s. So, in place of 30, we can write 2 into 3 into 5. This way. Here again, it is not equals to 2 raised to n, 5 raised to n form. 
Why? Because 2 is there, 5 is there, but 3 is extra, which is disturbing this form. Uh, so we can say that this Q is a not form of 2 is to n minus 2. This is not equal to. So in words also we can write yes, Q is not in the form of 2 raised to n pi to n. Q is it not in the form of 2 raised to n pi raised to n means by theorem 1.7 the given question that 77 upon 210 will have a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. Right. So this was question number 1 we have completed. Now we will see the question number 2 in next lecture.